Welcome to Kurunu Axis Ibadan. There are streets in the Axis where young people struggle to make sense of their place in a country troubled by unemployment and poverty. In this place, smoking marijuana gives inspiration. Wide Access presents the opportunity to see how they spend their time. It also shows how the environment can be engaged to save the youths from themselves. Sala everywhere. It is not only this place alone. We have, in fact, if you want to count the junk around here alone, we, it runs to almost 50. What is this area called? This is Academy. This Academy. You know, we have a, we have a common name here. We call it Kurunu. Our man, Pepe must have known their temperament when he accompanied us into their space. When they saw how relaxed Pepe was, they realized how their opinions would make the world understand their plight. <laughs> In this chaos, there is a food cellar. Hamoy moy made from beans saves the boys from hunger, even when they can't pay for it. We are in Kurunu where people don't think. They are in desperate search of inspiration. Depends on what I'm using it. It's made to be Okay. When you take ganja and you use it to make it about life or mm. about anything about money. Okay. You try to cause you more. Okay. And that is what I think it makes me to do. It gives you inspiration. Inspiration to think further. Do you have a job? Do you have a I job? Have a job. I'm a graduate from Federal Polytechnic in Lagos. But you, so yes, you are a graduate. Yes, so where do you also, work? I know I don't work in, in any place now. You don't get job. I don't get job now. So that's that why you spend more time why here. I spend more time here now, as at now. I'm a graduate from Federal Polytechnic in Lagos. So if you get job now, you're not going to spend yeah, more time here. I, get job. I can't. Uh, when I get job and I have where I'm going to, as in office that I'm going to, I can't spend my time here. There is unemployment, poverty, and drugs in Kurunu. Even when boys are asleep, they are awake. It is carnival time. A leader of the Kurunu Carnival Planning Committee is ready to delay the production crew unless it is donated to the carnival pause. He is calm enough to show he is ready to cooperate. Our man Pepe intervenes. We are negotiating. March, March is okay. Which one is March? Uh, January, March. January, February, March. Ah, uh, uh, no, 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 January, February, March. No, no, no. Thirty, forty, fifty, March, March, 
Understanding the denomination of the street is the first obstacle. The carnival man has asked for June. June? Pepe says June is 6,000. We will give January, the crew announces. The carnival guy raises his voice in gentle anger. His anger fades as Pepe intervenes. Pepe wants us to donate March to the pause. We have settled for February. Negotiation went well. It's about the character of the street. Deal done. The boys are out from the corner shops like they were never there before. They are telling their tales of survival as the heat of hardship grows. You grew up in this area? Very well. Precisely, you me precisely. Has anything really changed? Nothing has changed. It has even gotten worse for us. We've been moving around in this area. Yeah. We, you've been seeing young boys. That is how it has been since I was in my elementary school. I used this route to get to St. John's Catholic Primary School, where I did my elementary school, then to Ibarra City Academy, where I had my secondary school education. The situation remains the same. It has even gotten worse off. Are you pained by the situation of our young I'm men? I'm seriously devastated. I'm worried. You saw some of them smoking away their time. It has been like that from time immemorial. Nobody cares. Nothing is happening. What's this point called again? Uh, this is uh, Koronu Junction. They call it Koronu. Explain they Koronu. Think. They don't care. They don't give a damn. They don't think. They don't bother about anything happening around them. All they want to do is just smoke, get away with it, and just live their life. They don't. I land at night. This place is always Locked people up. drinking. We are here in the morning. Some, some people have gone to work. So that's why this place is this county now. Mm. But by the time it's around 3, 6 p.m., 7 p.m., and uh, beyond, this, place, this road is locked up. Total lockdown. People eat. Left and right, people eat fish. They smoke in their hand. They smoke all sorts of things. They buy drinks and all sorts. Of, and sometimes they fight. They really fight. They really fight. They really fight. They really fight. From the 2018 figures of the National Bureau of Statistics, Nigeria's unemployment rate is 23.1%. It is suspected that the yet-to-be-released 2019 figures have reached 40%. The failure of the Bureau to release the 2019 quarterly reports on job creation and unemployment gives vent to this suspicion. As these ones engage in desperate measures to survive, they wonder why they are the casualties of leadership failure in Nigeria. Government should provide jobs. There's nothing we want except that when you have job, you do. You you will have money to spend. Because there's no job outside there. We don't have job. Many of us went to school and school went to us. They are used by politicians for election purposes. Some of them are dumb to when victory is won left to continue their street activities. Some are in prison. When, when the time of elections comes, the politician will come over, they will come here, they will talk to these people, they will use them. After the election, they will not do anything for them. And now, 
you can see them starting around here. What are they doing? Smoking Indian herbs. And the teacher normally come, came here when it's time of election. Mm. They will promise people that they will do this and that. They promise many ladies here that they will open their shop for them. They promise them that they will give them money to establish their business. But immediately they get, they get to the power, we don't see any traces of their promise. Governor himself knows that people were smoking all around. But they only make use of them. That was when they were in need of them. After making use of them with all the promises and they won't fulfill. There are smiling faces in Kurunu. Mama Gold is one of them. She runs a bar on the street. Mama Gold, how are you today? I'm fine. Yes, you sell here. Yeah. What do you sell? Uh, wine, beer, yeah. everything's okay. Everything is fine. These young boys, do they have jobs? Yeah. They have jobs. Okay. 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 working this day, quarry. Are you also making money here? Yeah, yeah. Mama Gold. Mama Gold. Kurunu Axis suffers from feeling infrastructure. There is a bridge of death hanging over their heads. Everywhere was set when I was growing up. Uh -huh. I used to stay at Olomi. I attended St. John's Primary School, Catholic Primary School Academy. Mm. So when coming from school, this is where we fly. As little children, we use this presentation to avoid vehicular movement. So yeah. with the little children, we use this proof to get to our houses. But now everything is gone. Wow. This is dangerous. In case there is any mishap or anything at all, they can't force up. Or just fall off. On Lagos by the expressway, no railing, no nothing, no barricade. On this bridge without railings, people can fall off and die. Cars and the people in them do not matter. Anyway, if government cannot provide protective barriers for the bridge, at least they can help themselves with a staircase to peep at the danger hanging over them. This was consulted by a lot of came in youth for all. They did it by themselves. Not by government. Not by government. Government has no, government has no contribution in so, this. So before now, what was the, the route to this? People were dumping. The World Bank in its 2019 Nigeria Economic Update Report, released on the 2nd of December 2019, says that the number of Nigerians living in extreme poverty may increase by more than 30 million by 2030. The bank predicts that Nigeria will be home to 25% of the world's destitute people if government fails to create jobs. Mm. If government give us jobs, we can't see any people here. If you come here on Monday, you will meet people. Come on Tuesday, you will see people. Every time you come here, you come here, you will see people. There is a movie script writer in the Axis. He says his talent is not in doubt. Times are hard, but they lessen the stress by refreshing themselves with table tennis. They are hopeful. They know police will come. When police comes, they run. If I take you to Shea Mark in date now, what will you tell him? I will tell him he should provide job for us. You want to work? We, we, we want to work. We have the ability to work. Please, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. If police come here now, we have the ability to run. Well, we that can't. means we have the ability to work. Yes. So if police come now, do you run? We, we, we run. So police do come sometimes? Police do come sometimes, but we will run. We have the ability to run. We will move. Okay. We, that po police, can, uh, police may not take some of us. They may take some. But we have the ability to run. But we don't, uh, we don't see the job that we do. We have the ability to do something. It's in us. The streets and its dangers provide succor for them. They seek inspiration, yet suffer from the desperation to survive. 
we came here to see what the youths are doing. The ones we met spend their time smoking, no work to do. They ask for work. As things stand now, if we don't cater for them, who knows what they will do? Remember, the idle mind is the devil's workshop. A word is enough for the wise. It is a generation of people seeking for comfort, devout, hoping for the best. They engage in many jobs that keep them going. However, it is not just about employment, but productive employment to raise living standards. If they are given the tool to collaborate, they will innovate and thrive. If they can run, they can work.